Hey, today's video is actually gonna be really cool because we're gonna work with a fellow Mario 3 speedrunner to see if we can help him with some of the struggles he's been having. I think it's been almost about three years since he's got a PB and he's been playing the game ever since the, the last time he got a PB and he somehow cannot clutch out a PB. He's conflicted on which strats to use. He's conflicted on what he should do during pressure. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, check out his stream, have him on call, talk with him about what he might be doing wrong and some of the things he could change to increase his chances. Let's just see if overall I can actually help someone with just by talking with them and trying to figure out what's going on. So let's try it. All right, so we have Stewie's stream up here. Uh, that's his icon, his name, Stewie Cartman. I guess you can obviously tell what he likes. He likes uh, Family Guy and South Park. We can hear his game audio. It's a little low, but I think we'll be okay because we're going to be talking a lot. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and give him a call and try and uh, help him out here as much as we can. So how are you doing today, man? Doing pretty good. Had a good day, right on. Good. Yeah. You check out that fat uh, 50-45, get her done? I, I was watching that. Nice. Now it's your turn to get the 50-45. I guess the first question out of all the thing is like, what do you think you're either having trouble with, or what do you think is your primary problem? Right now, it seems like the big run killers for me have been Worlds 3 and 4. The the Worlds 3 and 4 is not cracking under pressure, it's just trying to either implement certain strategies, or you're trying to, like, you're not getting held by RNG, right? Like, even when you get past good RNG, um, you're the, still somehow losing too much time in those worlds? The main one I've been having problems with is 3-2. 3-2. And are you doing and... the aggressive 3-2 strategy? No. I don't no. even know how to do that. That's that's fine. So uh let's go let's go right to 3-2 then. Let's like let's break down 3-2 a, a little bit. See uh see where we can go from there. Okay, now enter 3-2, but don't do anything, and we can just kind of talk about it a little bit. Alright. So when you start this level, what do you think is like your main visual cue? Yeah, usually go, I yes. start holding left right away. Yeah. And oh. then usually when the platform is about like where, see where this little cloud is right here? Yep. Oh yeah. Next to that line, like right there. So is it is it right at the triangle there? Yeah, it's like right where that triangle is. Okay, that's also what I do. So go ahead and start the level and hold left. And then as soon as the platform hits the triangle, um, then you can go. And we'll we'll go from there. That one. So I create know right away, create a I safe state. Wrong. Create a safe state outside of the level. Okay. Yeah. Create a safe state outside of the level. Allow yourself to press A, enter the level like you authentically would. Um, doing safe states inside the level creates too much. Too much is going on, right? It doesn't give you enough time to to register and get everything set up. So I normally save state True. as I move from the bottom position. Yeah. Move. Up. There you go. Perfect. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Good. Good. That was really good. Um, and so the the fish. Do you know why the fish do that sometimes? I feel like I'm either I'm either building P speed too quick or too slow. That is that is exactly why the fish are doing that. Whether you build them too slow, whether you build the P speed too slow or too fast, will determine uh, where the fish are. So you you you're always gonna have to like identify on the fly. Um, but it's it's honestly not too bad. So keep doing it a couple tries and let's see where you might make some fundamental mistakes. Yeah, just keep just keep repeating the P speed. Um, as soon as you get it and like get to the fish, reload. You don't have to keep eating the level. Yeah, let's just watch you do this consistently. Um, the losing P speed there was simply because you you first frame jumped off of one of the question blocks. So that's that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's not that's that's for yeah that block right there. One good thing that, to get into is that you don't always have to feel like you're so locked into your position. Like that last cheap cheap that you bounced off of, you almost overshot it. But in the middle of your jump, before you even saw the cheap cheap, it's good to get into the comfort zone of knowing that you kind of overshot and you do like a snap like quick turn back. So keep keep trying it. Yeah. Yeah, I want you to do level like a solid like ten times. Cause I feel like there's also one thing that might be screwing you. Is it either finishing the P speed on the donut blocks or is it the cheap cheeps? Probably the more the cheeps. Okay, so right there you held left for too long. Your reaction time. You should be going just a little bit faster than you actually are right now, just to make sure. Yeah. 
There you go. That's good. There you go. That was really good. Right? You don't have to wait so long holding left. But still use the triangle as a visual cue. There you go. Yeah. Very nice. So you jumped a little too high there. That was that was that issue. Very nice. Very yeah, see exactly. Yeah, and then you went a little too high. So keep reloading, keep going, keep going. Don't stop. This is good. This is really good. Do you use the line that's okay, stay there. Stay at the stay at the start of the level for a sec. Okay, you see these you see these two lines here? Yeah, the two blue lines right here. Do you small jump when Mario gets to that blue line or do you run all the way to the edge? No, I do a small jump. When you get to the line? Yeah, I do like a okay, small good. medium jump. Good, 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 okay. All right. Yeah, keep going, keep going. This is good stuff. Okay, we just got a little stream delay. Too fast. Yeah, so you needed to run a little bit more on the platform for that first one. Second one. There you go. Very nice. Keep loading her up. Keep loading her up. Keep going. Too fast. Too slow. <laughs> Fell in the water. So yeah, you held left way too long on that attempt. So it seems like something's tripping you up at the start. Yeah. Like you're like paying attention to the visual cue. Um, because you know your P-Speed jumps, right? Uh, yeah. So it seems like you're struggling with the lateness and the earliness of the P-Meter. It's kind of like jumping in on like a jump rope, like when people are swinging it. Like you're just missing your timing just a little bit. If you crispen up that timing, um, you seem to know all the other jumps. You just need to watch out. Don't jump too high onto the donut blocks. That's also another one. Make sure that's nice and tight to the donut block. And uh, you shouldn't have any more issues with this level. It seems like the number one issue is how long you wait at the start of the level. Because those platforms yeah. are extremely particular. And it's weird because like for a while I was having no problems with this level. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's hard to like identify little ruts that we get in right like sometimes i didn't know it was like it was like a few years ago maybe like five or six years ago um i didn't understand why i wasn't able to get wall jump and it took me like a solid week to realize that i was just simply pressing a too early when i was convinced that i was pressing a too late and it was like so hard to tell what was actually early and what was actually late so yeah so you seem to be you seem to be pretty good with with this level i think in your practice time, I think just keep trying really hard to make sure you get that intro timing down. Yeah. Yeah. And then one level I was struggling with was 3-3, three, three, but I think I fixed that problem. Sure, let's see 3-3. Three, three. Like, show me, show me, like, you don't have to speedrun it right away, but show me in the level so I can see, like, what you were talking about in case I've ever had anything like that before. Here, I'd be missing my down input so I wouldn't be able to hit this block and do my, my normal strat that I was doing. Oh, so how come, so why don't you try adopting, because this, this method does create a slight amount of leg. Why don't you try adopting jumping from the spinner to the red, the that, red. Cooper? That's what I started doing a couple days ago. Okay. Let's see how, let's see how it goes. <laughs> you fixed it by getting rid of it. That's good. Sometimes that's really good, right? Like if like consistent strategies, sometimes when they start failing you and then you, you notice other people are doing slightly better things. I used to have that strat like nailed down and then just for whatever reason there you go see he was gone perfect yeah screw that strat anyways a, a good way of thinking about it Stu, is your strategy although you might be consistent at it technically you're doing more work than this strategy here with the flipper right so the idea is to be just as fast as everyone else and do less work like this is way more consistent and you're not doing duck inputs you're not trying to bonk off things yeah much better you're also you're also doing much more big slash big medium jumps, which are safer. With the duck jump, yeah. you you end up doing a small jump off of the white music notes or whatever, right? Yeah. Has anyone ever tried to grab the white music note, run off, and just run right into the red Koopa? Uh, not that I know of. Yeah, I, I think that would work too, but it would cause lag. Another thing you can try 
is that sometimes try not to jump so far on the right side of blocks because it seems like when you do that, you're forced to jump as early as you possibly can. And it seems like you do get a lot of uh, P meter depletion in the middle of your P speed strategies, which is yeah. obviously caused by doing either frame perfect jumps or after you've jumped on enemies too many times, the last jump you do just happens to be frame perfect. Um, I know jumping a little bit earlier will cause you to undershoot jumps and stuff like that, but a great habit to get into is getting a little bit earlier on ledges so you don't have to worry so much. Not Koopas, though. You don't have to worry about Koopas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Koopas, is, you can jump any, anywhere. The right side of Koopas is pretty pretty safe. But yeah, that looked really good. Uh, keep practicing that and get out of your old, uh, your old rut because that's just as comfortable. And I think that creates one less lag frame. Do it your way and let's look at the lag frames. And even if you do get stuck on the flipper, you can resort back to your old strat. That there you go. You just lag three. frames a lag. Yeah, yeah. I think that area naturally lags, but I think what I saw was about three. Oh, you're um, going to do it one, normally. Okay. One other thing I was adding into runs. Yeah, it didn't even is... lag there. That's right. Yeah, so you're losing four frames of lag and doing more work. So yeah, yeah just, just get rid of that strategy. Uh, All right, one other thing I've been trying to add into runs is the aggressive 1D kill. Okay. So, cool thing enough, if you have a safe state that starts the 1D kill, now, two things you have to watch out for. Sometimes Wendy will stand there and bounce right away. That will make the aggressive yeah. kill easier, but sometimes she kind of moves forward a little bit, makes the aggressive kill a little harder. What you can do when you start the Wendy kill is literally just stand there as you're entering and mash your first six shots. So... How, how are you fire... Are you moving at all when you try and fire kill her? So I do two double taps, then I stomp, and then I mash. Okay, yeah. You should just sit there. Like, as soon as you enter the pipe on the airship, just mash with just mash with B and get six off. Get six hits, and then you jump on her with the two, and then you can go on the right side or left side and finish off the last two. I didn't know you could get six shots in. Yeah, right at the start. Just don't move or anything. Just... Mash as you're going into the pipe. Yeah. And don't forget to create your safe state. Um, before. I'd hate to have to play this again. Right? One good thing that I like to do is create create the safe state before you enter the pipe. Like, before the pipe spawns. Right at the end, create a safe state. And then enter the pipe, make sure the pattern's correct. Then reload the safe state, enter the pipe, and then create the safe state as you're transitioning. It makes it very comfortable. Practicing is a very... Needs to be a very comfortable thing, right? Yeah. And I don't use boss pattern practice ROMs. Like, I authentically create the movement of one and then reload it just exactly how it is in a run. So I've gotten very used to the strats behind auto-scroller save states. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So create it about right, right here. There you go. Nice. And then make sure it's a good pattern. See, it's not the good pattern. But that's okay, that's okay. So, with this pattern, try and just stand there and see if you can get six off. So you kind of created a little bit of a bad save state. Yeah, I did. That's okay, that's okay. There you go. No, 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 okay. Try, try and get the six. Try again. Like, you should be able to get six before you stomp on her. Oh, close. A little bit faster. There you go. You still got you still got five there. There you go. So when you jumped on her there, you could have gotten the two off. Yeah. Yep. Keep trying. Keep trying. This is good. Missed one. So I notice you're moving forward when you enter. Try and just stand there. Still good. Still good. So yeah, if you if you could mash just a little bit faster. See, luckily for me, 
I'm not moving, so I can double thumb here. And I don't know if that makes it that much faster for me. Oh, there I, you go. I, I've tried doing double thumb and I, I can't do it. Yeah, you don't need to worry about double thumb in this game. It's useless, really. Yeah, so since since you can't mash with your thumb um, as fast here, because I assume you're mashing as you're going like, right now as you're going through the great pipe, you're mashing and then yeah. It, it'll, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So just move forward a bit, yeah. So is that what you used to do or, or is this kind of combining what I do with you, with what you do and making it easier? Oh, a little bit of both. Good, good, that's good. Yeah, see, that's too risky. You gotta get the six off, right? Yeah, like, I don't... I feel like sometimes, like, I was trying to go too aggressively. Yeah, you don't need to go so not. aggressive on her. I mean, that is faster, but... And you gotta pick... Is it worth it? <laughs> well, see, the thing is, is that the Wendy kill is so easy without doing anything aggressive, and, I mean, what you just did there did not save that much time over the not doing it. So, the, so for you, with what your PB is, your PB is a high 51, you don't even need to do aggressive Wendy. So if you're going to do no. her, do it in the comfortable way. So if you reload it and go back again, try and get comfortable in doing it in the way that combines both of our strats. Yeah, you don't need to rush her too much and stuff. Yeah, you got your little move forward too for... No, don't forget the six, right? Because she will screw you over, I'm sure. It has happened. There you go. Okay. I mean, if you want to do the four, there's five. Like, that's really easy. That gives you time, too, right? Yeah. See that? See what I mean? Like, your way is good, but you're you're doing, you're adding way too much movement, right? If you just let her come to you. Like, I'm going too aggressively? Yeah, yeah. You don't need to go so aggressive. You're trying to save time on a strat where you're trying to save time. Instead of just saving a little bit of time on a strat where you can save time. Yeah. You, it's like, you have the basic Wendy kill, and then you have the aggressive Wendy kill, and then you have this, like, no need aggressive. You see what I mean? You just took damage and all that stuff. Make sure you get those six off. Six or five. There you go. Five. Every time you do the five or six, you're, go you're good, right? So just wait at the start. Yeah, you don't need to move. Let Wendy come to you. There you go. See how it's, that's great. That's exactly what you want. There two, we go. Two, right? If I can at least get five off in the first, then I'll be fine. So keep practicing that. You don't need to go so aggressive on her when, when you haven't even got comfortable with the first aggressive strat, right? So it's, yeah, yeah don't, don't worry about it. And it's not even gonna save you that much time anyways. You see, every time you do four, man, you get screwed. Every time you rush her, there you go. It, it has to do with her positioning too, that when you're stomping her early, her hitbox is, is in a different place, right? So it's just, gotta watch out for that. When you see though, you wanna make sure that that's never happening. Like every, all your little mistakes here, you, you must find a way where none of that ever happens anymore and then you can rely on this strategy. That's like your number one goal. Look at that, perfect. A little too aggressive, but that was good. Two, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Right? That's that right there is what you want to get into. That's so beautiful. There we go. That was a good one. Mm -hmm. The six. See, that's what I do because I can mash it very easy. Now, if you want, after you shoot your first two, you can turn left a little bit. And instead of mashing faster, give yourself a bit more distance. I'm pretty sure that will work. And it, and it always revolves around being like closer or further away. But yeah, stick with what's comfy. And you must know that if you only get three or four shots off, she is going to take damage, right? Yeah. She will damage you. Like, you must know. There's five. Yeah, usually, you're good. Usually, if I try and go for this and I missed one, I just abort. I just try and not die. Yeah. Keep practicing that, though. You'll, you'll have that literally in, like, two days. As long as when you're practicing, you find a way to make sure that the bad never happens. <laughs> the damage. <laughs> Which you're, you obviously understand how it works, so you know that there's a way for you to find it where it's super comfy. Yeah. So 4-4. Four, four. We're going to try and remove the duck strategy. We're going to try, unless you want to keep it. Do you want to keep it? Because uh... I was testing it and I was playing with it the last few nights. And I can do it in runs, but I'm telling you right now, if you are not prepared 
with how you build P speed on the top, it will screw you over. And it's for someone like you, Stu, honestly, it's not worth doing. You, the amount of time you can save without that and how much it's causing you to lose more time on your PB pace is it's it's not a good decision. Yeah, I, pr I probably should remove it. Yeah, just for now. And the beauty is you know how to do it, right? And that's the same thing yeah. that happened to me. I stopped doing it in runs. You barely ever see me do it. Then when I went back to learn it, to test it and see if I added in runs, it took me like five minutes to, to get it back, right? And then now now I'm, I want to add it in my runs. So so you have it. It's in your logbook. It's in your safe. But for now, getting through this level as consistent as you possibly can is top priority. There you go, and then you do one, two, one, two, or you, you know, you do. So what do you do? One, two, three. I I don't really know what I do in this level because like I I was never consistent at this level. Okay, well let's let's figure it out. Let's go back to the start. So when you get P speed and you land in the water, what I like to do is one swim, two swim, and then a double swim, and then jump out of the water, and that seems to line up very very nicely for me. All right, so you do the one swim, two swim, double. There you go. Was the, did you do the double there? Yeah, I did one, two, one, two. One, two, and then jump out. How did that feel? That actually, wow, it's, it's that actually not, worked. It's, it kind of, it kind of, it's, it's very comforting. You do one, two, like as you're floating, one, two, one, two, jump out of the water. Right, because the, the one, two gets you right to the surface really fast. So without... Well, hold on, hold on. You shouldn't re you shouldn't reload your safe state when you make mistakes like that because you really need to get into a yeah a groove of what to do in that situation. Here you go. As soon as you land in the water, press press swim right away. Definitely not, had this mistake so, happen before. Yeah, so not at not at the beginning, like just after you bounce off the second Lakitu. When you land in the water, you, you press swim right away, so you start building momentum faster, and then you can jump out of the water sooner. So, like, right after this block. Right, so you see you see how, when you do the super swim, you see how you're jumping so far to the right of the block? You could jump out of the water yeah. earlier and get on the left side of the block, and that'll be faster, right? Oh. Yeah. You move faster outside of the water. And remember... Every time you bounce off the second Lakitu, you you float down a bit before you press A. Just press A right away when you land. And that's after the second Lakitu. Right? So you get your P speed, you do your one, 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 two, jump, and then press A right away. When you land in the water, jump out, press A right away, and then jump out of the water. And then also, another thing you can get into is don't press A to do the super swim. Just run off the ledge and hold down. Don't press A because if you miss it, it'll be some pretty bad mistakes and just pressing down will not cause big mistakes. Just run right to the edge and then press down. There you go. There you go. Well, as soon as you land in the water, press A and then you can jump out of the water right away. You do it for the last two times you enter the water. Right after the lack of Early. It's okay. Remember the, remember the sound of the water, the, the rhythm it makes. It's like, boop, 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 boop. There you go. Keep this going. Did you get the speed? I think Very I got nice. it. Very nice. Yeah, you got it. You're good. And as soon as you land... Oh, see, you're doing it again, right? Before the super swim, right? When you land in the water before the super swim, press A right as you... As soon as you land in the water, don't sink a little bit because you're wasting distance, right? If you press A, you'll build a little bit and then you jump out of the water right away. Same with, there you go. But you don't jump there. You jump on the second one. There right. you go. And then you run, there you go. As soon as you land, you press A. And it's also helping the Lakitu, sh the Lakitu's uh, spiny spot too, which is very important. R remember, one, two, one, two, one, Two, one, two. One, two, one, two. I should have taken damage there. Holy crap. 
There you go. Your 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 four four is looking much better. But yeah, so don't jump out of the water on that first that first time you land in the water after the second um the the second lack of two. Keep going, keep going. This is really good. Wait, I just had a drink right next to me. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you had the man drink. <laughs> One, two, one, two. And then swim. No, no, no. Yeah, you don't want to jump there out of the water. Yeah. Okay. And then you see how you, you jumped so far on the right side of the super swim? You can jump out of the water much earlier. As long as you press A as soon as you land in the water and then get the jump. It looks like you're not going to make it, but you do. Oh, yeah. Keep this. Oh, you should have kept that one going. Because that will definitely happen in a run, right? Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Swim, swim right when you land. As soon as you land in the water, don't, don't, don't float down at all. Just as soon as you land in the water, press A for both of the, both of the last two water entries. I know it's it's hard to it's hard to get into the groove of new yeah. muscle memory, but it'll help you out a lot. And remember, you want to try and maximize. The super swim, so you don't want to hold down too early. You want to try and hold down right when you get to the edge of the ledge. There you go. There we go. There you go. That was a very nice super swim. Yep, perfect. But again, remember, when you land in the water, try not to sink. Just as soon as you land, just press A. Don't wait for anything. Press A and then press A again and jump out of the water. There we go. There we go. There we go. So your super swim is a little low, so you might get nicked. No, you didn't. Okay, perfect. You still got 282. So that's exactly what you want to do. You want to stay out of the water, right? You want to, as soon as you land in the water, you want to get that swim, get the momentum. Ooh, this is a good one. Same thing, swim. You definitely don't want to jump out like that, though. If you're a little no. far away, you don't want to be, you don't want to um, be doing jumping jacks in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Can't the man get his exercise? He needs it, look at him. Yeah. You de the good news is you don't need training in case you miss the ledge here, because that's like, whatever. A little too early, but that's okay. That'll happen in a run, right? So keep swimming. Very nice. You're going to be far away, so you're going to have to wait. Yeah, and then jump earlier. Yeah. Right? And, and then that now, one I was, now you're good. I think I was late on the down press. No, you were you were early on the down press, and you let go of down before you got to the edge. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you have to watch out for that. Keep jumping out. <laughs> yeah, it's on that one specific one, too. Try not to dip so low at the end there, too. You have the right idea. When you come up to the to the um, horizontal pipe, you do want to start becoming on the downward angle in case he does throw it, right? But when you swim so low like that, you're blinding yourself, um, and you can't see if he throws it early, right? Right. So at the end, try not to try not to dip so low. You want to keep some of the sky on the screen. Okay, so there. Do you know why you went too early there? You still counted it correctly, but as soon as you landed in the water, you pressed A, and then your rhythm was off. Yeah, something was there off. There you go. There you go. You know, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get a feel for this D-pad and like why I'm getting an up input there. Yeah. Because like I notice I keep jumping at the same spot. Yeah, you keep jumping out of the water just on that one same spot. Just, um, I think what happens is that when you do your double swim and you jump off the Lakitu, you might be pressing right so hard, right? That it's pressing because, up. Because you're, you're putting, like, you're, you're putting your body into it because you want to make that jump, right? If you don't make that jump, you're frigged. Yeah. So it's, a, it's a very important jump, so it's like skewing your finger position. So one thing that you can do is that as soon as you reach max height and max distance off of the Lakitu, Take your thumb off the D-pad and reposition it again because you won't lose any momentum, right? Just re right. just just readjust it in like a place where you won't you won't lose. There you go. Right away, swim. Jump. Oh, you're gonna jump. Yep. 
Oof. See what I mean? You blinded yourself. You didn't know that that if you didn't swim so low, you would have seen it earlier. Yep. So now you're you're quickening your one two one two rhythm. Slow it down a bit. One two one two. There you go. There you go. Hey, swim too low. You blinded yourself again. You keep blinding yourself. <laughs> That was almost perfect. That was exactly how I do the level. You're swimming so low again. Yeah, okay, so I guess to dissociate, ignore everything else in the level and just focus on when you land in the water after you get P-Speed for the first time. If you do the one, two, one, two, you can let yourself sink a little bit as soon as you land in the water. Yeah, after, right after you build P-Speed, when you land in the water, let yourself sink just a little bit. And then you do one, two, and then snap the one, two, the other one, two. It's just the last two jumps in the water, you want to swim right away because you can jump. You can jump out of the water right away and land on the ledges. One, two, one, two. Perfect. That, there you go. That's exactly it. Stay high, stay high. Watch. Perfect. Look at that. See that? That's gonna help you out so, that was so much better than what you showed me the way you were doing it. You're like ducking and diving, blinding, and you're <laughs> dipping low and you're not counting out your swims and creating some kind of, that was three. I didn't hear, I didn't hear a one, two, one, two. I heard a one, two, one jump out. There we go. Perfect. Don't you feel more comfortable now that you can see at the top? You can see a little bit yeah. more what's going on. like Because if he did shoot early there, you would have turned back right away because you would have saw it. You wouldn't have been locked into losing Fire Flower. Okay, so as soon as you landed in the water after you build P-Speed, you swam right away. You want to you wanna dip just a little bit. I'm trying to get this old muscle memory out of here because yeah. I keep, yeah. I keep dropping down. Right, right. You'll get, you'll get it because it's fucking you over every single time you do it. So you'll, you'll, you'll get over that really fast. That's like the least of your problems right now, because you're gonna be in a good run and you're gonna be like, no, 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 don't dip down because I need to see. As soon as you land in the water, yeah. As soon as you land in the water. Sometimes, if you're a little on edge, sacrifice the second to save your fire flower. Trust me, it's worth it. If you think, because yeah. like the slower you go, the more likely you're going to get hit, right? The faster you go, you're not going to get hit. You, you won't get hit. If you go really fast, the way you've been doing it this way, he'll never hit you. It's never there. But if you slow down, if you have a bad super swim, if you're in the water for too long on the last jump, oh, this is perfect. Perfect. And then right away, there swim we jump. Go. Right away, swim jump. Perfect. He won't hit you. There's no way. Yeah. You you were a little slow with your jumping out of the water. Remember, after the second Lakitu, as soon as you land in the water, swim jump. And then as soon as you land in the water before the super swim, swim jump right away. Swim jump. Don't be afraid. And then swim jump again. Oh, look at that. You could see. If you swam down, you would have no idea that it was going to be there. That would have been hilarious, though. Because <laughs> usually I try to do a right tap, and I just never got it. Okay, so, so cover... Grab something around your room and cover the part that shows your subpixels. Yeah, find something that covers it completely. Hmm. If you have your cell phone, lean it up against the TV if it's tall enough. Or maybe not. I don't know if the cell phone and TV together will create some uh, weird ass. 
things going on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's I completely just put, covered. I just, put my, I just put my phone in front of my monitor. Okay, but it's not like blocking your field of view for like gaming, right? No. All right, reload it and, uh, and let me. I'll tell you what your subpixels are. Yeah, reload the safe state. You're completely blind, just like if you were in a run. Yeah. Create the safe state when you enter the pipe. Like as you're going through the gray part of the pipe. You had a subpixel of 12 there. All right, so that was not it. So duck clip wouldn't have worked. Yeah, reload safe state. Go faster, go faster. And then, yeah, create the safe state as you're transitioning. Yeah, perfect. Now you can go much faster. Don't peek. That's the hardest thing, because my other monitor is right next to it. You had a subpixel of nine there. I can just tell by the feel I didn't get that one. Subpixel of seven. So what what is your setup here? What are you trying to do? Because it looks like you're scrambling and then you just turn right. I think I just kind of wing it. Like I don't really have a setup. Okay, that we're gonna change that. Okay, kill the boss, but don't grab the one. Just stand there, and, I, and I'll, I'll work you through visually identifying. Okay, so. Remove your phone and watch your subpixels. Yeah, remove your phone, watch your subpixels. Lightly tap right. You see that? You see how you moved one pixel? Keep doing that. Keep doing it. Right? You won't move one pixel until you wrap past 15. Try and, yeah, see seven, eight, nine. Just try and see every number. There you go. You moved one pixel. That's really good, being able to see almost every number. Get comfortable with that. There you go, you moved a pixel. There you go. Try and get a little bit faster with it. It's okay if you skip some numbers, but you need to make sure that you can visually see Mario do that little movement. There you go. See, he did the movement across the ground. Now, cover up cover up the subpixels, reload the boss, and then when you kill him, stand under the wand and do exactly what you're doing right now until you see Mario move the one pixel, okay? It's like I'm just I'm trying to do like very small little flicks there. Don't Okay, you got the right subpixel, but don't you're trying so hard to get under the wand, you're wasting so much time. Just run right under the wand and then start tapping right. Don't worry about your left inputs or anything. Just run right under the wand after you kill the boss and start tapping right. All right, reload it, reload it. Keep trying, keep trying. I can tell by the feel that go. wasn't it. Almost, almost. You had a subpixel of 13. You almost wrapped under. You're giving yourself more time too. You don't need to feel if it's correct because you can see if Mario moves or not. So you continued to press after Mario had moved. So you really, really need to start focusing on watching Mario move across the ground because you had got it, but you continued tapping and you need to watch out for that. Gotcha. There you go. You saw him move, but you weren't under the wand, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. You saw him move and you stopped. You did it correctly. That was perfect. Oh, stop. You were, uh, you're good though. You had subpixel five and then you tapped uh. again. Yeah. Yeah. So keep trying it. Keep trying it. This is, this is, this is going to be big for you because it'll, you get the subpixel correctly every time. Then you can control whether you're getting it. You press, you're pressing a little too much. Get really comfortable at getting under the wand faster, yeah. There you go. You did move there. You do have a subpixel of zero. So let me ask you a question. Whenever yeah. you whenever you're whenever you stomp on the boss and then you run under the wand, why are you pressing right so hard so many times? Why aren't you just standing still and light tapping? 
Are you are you afraid that you think you're not under the wand? Like I feel like I feel like I'm either overshooting or I'm not under the wand. Okay, just be on the left side of that line. That's Cause it. I, I, cause I think that's what happened in my PB was I was trying to do it, and then maybe for all I know I had it, but I was not under the one. Yeah, reload, reload it, reload it, and like as long as you're on the left side of that line and on the right side of like at least the first half of the block, you're okay. You don't need to you don't need to push so hard. There you go. Stop. Tap, tap, tap. You got it. You did get it. You continue tapping, though. So I think for your homework is get comfortable not panic tapping and get really comfortable with this setup because this will be dreams for you. Yeah. Almost. You tapped so lightly. I think you went through every number by one. You're at a subpixel of 15. So oh. in this scenario... Right? You didn't see Mario move, but you know you tapped a lot, so you might as well go for stand clip. And I also do the same thing. If I move if I tap left a whole bunch and I don't move, then I'm like, well, I gotta go for duck clip. You've heard you've heard me say it in runs, right? Yeah. So in this instance for you, then you know, you know what, I probably should just go for stand because you know you didn't move one pixel. Reload it, reload it. Keep trying, keep trying. We'll worry about the clip after. We don't screw yeah. the clip. The subpixel <laughs> manipulation is way more important. Oh, you yeah. just wanna get it in there. There you go. Look at how easy that was. See, standing clip is a joke. But now your options have opened up so much more. Now you're not just like every time duck clipping, right? You're starting to identify what's right. And that those subpixels are covered, right? Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing anything. You did, you got subpixel too. Keep trying. Oh, I'm just typing to someone in my chat really quick because I have my mic muted. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. There you go, you moved. Stop! Ah, oh, you need it, you need to focus. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to watch when he moves. Watch when he moves, right? And don't get confused with the with the footsteps. Like, just identify where he is on the ground and if he moves one pixel. It takes some training. You're doing really well, though. Again, you were overthinking just, like, where you were standing. Just get over there, right? And then start tapping. As long as you're on the left side of the line. There you go. There you go, you moved, you moved! Oh, well, you moved again. You got subpixel one, but you did, you moved right away. You 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 have the light taps. You just really need to focus on Mario moving and you should be, you should be pretty good. Um, but does covering your screen help you more, right? It's like, it's teaching you to do it without doing it in runs. Because if you watch, you're always gonna get it. Yeah. You moved, you moved! Oh, and, and so that's the tricky part is that when you move right away and you get it really fast because you get ready to start tapping because you don't want to run out of time, right? Because right. getting the right subpixel is extremely important, especially at this point in the run. So, yeah, that's... that's... So, so now, like, I'm just going to think of this as if I'm in a run because I have no idea. Because mm -hmm. um, I don't think I have zero through six, so... So you're just going to assume that you have a high subpixel value? Yeah. Like you're going to have... Yeah, okay. All right. Better not peek, man. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, the bump. So you did have the right subpixel value, but you missed your jump. You had subpixel yeah. 14. So you were actually pretty good there. All right, reload. Wasting time. This is all RNG. Nobody cares about this. <laughs> this is this is a reset. <laughs> You moved so many times. You crossed over zero like six times there. I think what's happening is that you think you run too far to the left, so you're trying to move under the wand and then start your yeah. thing, but you have a lot of room. Like, you're too far to the right now. Right? Reload the room, kill the boss, and run all the way to the left side of the screen. Wait for the wand to fully drop, and then see how much room you have before you grab it. That was good, you got it. Run run all the way to the left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill the boss and run all the way to okay. the left and then wait for the wand to drop and stop moving and then walk to the right and and see when you grab the wand. And then you'll see on the floor, you have from that point, from when you grab the wand till the, till the line on the right side. And that's all the distance you have. You have a lot of room. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay, I see where so it is. So grab the wand on the right side here. Or the left side, I guess. 
but you can see you, you have from like that white line all the way to the far right black line it's almost like a full tile oh yeah i see it no 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 yeah grab the one grab the one from this side yeah see what see where you are like you're so far to the left but you keep thinking you have to be so close to the line so you're you have a lot of room and you can spend that time getting the right sub pixel instead of worrying about being under the wand but it takes time i understand it's not yeah. it's not as simple as like stop doing it <laughs> keep trying keep trying get out of here no no peeking at the sub pixels either i'm watching you you didn't get the right sub pixel but you were a little too far to the left I, you don't need to run so far to the left but yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what i'm doing it's okay it's okay <laughs> Just get under that one. You're good. Oh my god, where, where are you going? Go, go, go! <laughs> so far, you have the right subpixel. But do try and line up a little bit more under the one there. I don't need to be so far left. <laughs> there you go, perfect. You moved! Oh, you saw it! You don't act like- I know you saw him move. You had it. I mean, you still got it here because you must have panic pressed, but... You had it. You moved! You moved! Okay, we need we need to get you to stand still after you kill the boss. Don't grab the wand and do your light taps. And you need to identify yeah, you need to identify that move again. It's like I'm panic tapping. Yeah, so kill the boss, don't grab the wand, and then stand still and, and do your taps. Right? And you can look you can open up your subpixels back up again. So you can see. Well, don't be close to the wand because you don't want to accidentally grab it. There you go, that was a move. Yeah, yeah, get away from the one. See, he moved there, you saw that. That was the second move. Third move. Fourth move, there you go. Are you starting to get it? Like, he does stutters, but he's not moving across the ground. Yeah. Like, I think that's what's messing me up. It is, it is. That's what messed me up at first, too. That's very hard to identify. But now that you can see, Mario needs to actually slide one pixel across the ground. There you go. All right. Cover those subpixels back up and try it again. You saw it. I, I You pressed again, but that happens. That happens because you don't know when you're going to move, and that was so close. But did you see that one? Did you feel that one better? Yeah. yeah, yeah, much better, right? That attempt, I don't know what that was. You just kept moving so much. You panic tap. You got to tap a little lighter, try and get those light taps going. Because, like, you can you can press for, like, three frames, and you, you'll wrap your subpixels, like, a million times. Very nice. Yeah. You stopped. All right, let's do the clips, then. All right, so you know what you need to do. You just got to practice this and then play with the clips. Now, you know with the clips, right, with the duck clip, that the more frames you hold down for your duck, the more it's going to change your subpixels, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I figured you knew that. And that's why I don't like duck clip, because if you press duck for two or three frames, then you're, it's going to change everything. Really, really annoying. Okay, keep trying. I like I held down for too long. Yeah, keep loading it. That time I didn't get the down input. You did. You down for one frame and then you let go of down before you jumped. Right? So you press down and then you let go of down and then you jumped. So have I ever told you that I do a full big jump at the line of the bush? Yeah, right there. Perfect. Yeah, keep trying this. Keep going. Don't waste time clipping. Just get the clip, reload. Get comfortable with this muscle memory right here. Make sure you're doing the same thing every single time when you do this level. Just, to, just so that you get in your rhythm. Right? You obviously know how to clip, right? So I think most of the time when you're not getting your clip, it's because you the subpixel manipulation. I don't e to be honest, dude, I don't even think you've been doing subpixel manipulation. You're just flip-flopping and whatever just number you it. get. Yeah, you get you get what you get, right? But now it's gonna help you a lot. And remember, if you identify that you haven't moved the pixel but you've tapped a lot, you can assume that you might have a high subpixel and say, you know what, I gotta go for standing clip. And just that alone will help your odds. 
I think that's I think that's it for now. I think we'll stop there just because there's a lot packed on and there's a lot for you to practice. There's a lot for you to play with. I mean, if you do runs tonight, yeah, maybe try and incorporate one or two. I mean, if you if you do runs tonight, at least you have guidelines for certain levels, right? And you have a I better think, understanding I think I'm of going this. To. Yeah, there you go. And you have a better understanding of subpixel manipulation. I think that's gonna help you a lot. And it's gonna help you understand when you haven't got it, and maybe to do standing clip. Maybe you can be half and half, right? I know I yeah. am. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you have anything? Any questions or anything else? Uh, no, I think I'm good. Good. Oh, I'm. You. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad for... I was able to help. I hope. I hope this shows up in con some consistencies, and then uh, later we can so. talk about you know your mentality and how you how you approach the game and stuff like that. If you have time, and uh, we can. Oh, this will this will definitely fix it. Yeah, I will talk to you later, man, and have a good night. Yeah, you too, man. See ya. See ya. Well, what did you guys think? Do you guys think that I helped Stewie Cartman out? I think I really did. I think he was having a lot of trouble with his subpixel manipulation and how to properly identify when some levels are going wrong. And even if he is identifying it correctly, it's always nice to have a background voice and a background eyes to be like, oh, hey, this was going to happen. You could tell, right, by based on, you know, A, B, and C. So I'm going to put his stream in the description below and I want everyone to, you know, casually check up on him and see if he PBs a lot quicker. I think we're going to see a PB from him within at least two weeks because, yeah, I think fixing his 4-4 and identifying his 3-2 and his subpixel manipulation understanding and grabbing the star in the fortress and knowing that it's okay. Yeah, I'm very excited. So thanks everyone for watching and I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. I know it's different, but yeah. Whee!